Ah, uh, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much, Media Fraternity, for tuning up with this time to listen to me. You people are great, and uh, you are striving to bring credible news to this country. Now, tonight I want to join my competitor, uh, Mr. The Presidency of Jokes, as I'm here to vie you two. And tonight I bring to you hefty jokes, which I have is three. The joke number one that this country has is one, that it is the campaign period, it is the campaign time, and what we hear is Jamwa Ktendawili and Jamwa Wilbaro, day in, day out. Lest we forget, people are dying in El Gio Marakwet, day in, day out. Baringo, cattle bandits, it is playing on our news day in, day out, but no one is saying anything about it. Really? You get it? But what if I become the president? These are just jokes. Because I see myself building a KDF camp there. One will create employment. While they are doing mandatory attacks, they are doing it because of lack of employment. When we create KDF camp there, we are creating employment. We are trying to curb it. And if it does not work by creating employment, otherwise we will be working there to infuse security. Because But if you put the KDF soldiers there, we're going to put the end of this. We want to see peace because people will not fight when the army is there. Joke number two. Let us look at this. We see people dying in the northern part of this country due to drought. It is not the first time. It is not the last time. But I will see this thing happening. But you elect these people who go to power to be paid salary. But in every job that they are doing, we have to pay them still. They have sitting allowances. They have traveling allowances. And yet someone is dying in Garissa there with no food to eat. I mean, then we wonder why Kenyans are not happy. What if I become the president and bring out that if I employ you to go and work there, you are working because I'm paying you. What is left of sitting allowances will go to the people who don't have meals. There is a job there. We elect people who come to campaign to us and they go there promising that they will provide us security. But what do, they, do we see? They come here with bodyguards to protect them against us people who voted for them. Then they go back to parliament to fight their own wars. Then why employ bodyguards if you're fighting among yourselves? Then I think you need to put a debate. The joke is here. The punchline is here. Put a debate. Instigate and ensure that bodyguards are put to work inside parliament so that they can protect you against your own self. These are the jokes from me. The president but i know nothing about presidency but if one time i be there that is what i think i know people are wondering how my hair looks but that is just my style that is just my choice kama sivo sana la kusema mungu wabariki sana kama uko na swali unaweza niuliza kati hapo eh